Hi, it's Liam from DFA Longboarding. Um, this is going to be an unboxing and a preview, or a basic preview of the Apex 40 Double Concave. Here we go. Oh! Oh, it's all signed. Look at the back. It's all signed. Oh! I should have to sign it. Dude, Brian, you got Brian Fishing Brad. Go, go away. Oh, Hello. Go. You got Just go. <laughs> Here's the Apex 40 double concave. Um, I'll talk about more of it later when I put my trucks and my stims on. My wheels. <laughs> <laughs> um, just finished unboxing the Apex 40. It's 40.7 inches. I'm just going to go through the basics. It's 40.7 inches. I'm pretty sure it's 9.5 foot stance. Looking at it now, the concave is much bigger than I expected. Much bigger than the 37 because I've been riding the Apex 37. And I like that for free rides. So this is obviously going to be a big improvement. You can see the tub. Well, you can't really see the tub concave. When I first saw it, you couldn't really see the tub concave. And um, you can't really feel it either. It's quite small, I think it's 0.25 of an inch, so it doesn't do that much, but it makes an improvement. It makes a difference. This is laser cut grip tape, so it says Apex 40, and it's got the areas where you can peel off and put grip tape on, instead of just destroying the whole board. It's got the kicks. Uh, I've ridden the Beast, these are much more rounded. I guess they're more, they're not as square as the Beast. Um, and they feel as if they point up a little bit bigger than the Beast. This is the bottom of the board, the graphic. Uh, this is the Peace Fingers, and I asked them to sign it. So I've got Brian Bishop's headers, Ben, and I've got my little warning sign telling me that I should, probably shouldn't die on this board. <laughs> I, I'm writing stims now with um, spaces in between the bearings because I guess I'm just used to it. Um, a lot of people have doubts about stims being good for sliding, but I like them because with bearing spaces, you, they're a lot smoother. Quite big wheels, quite nice wheels, good at sliding. I've got Paris and um, bolts, they kind of help. I'm going to show the flex. I'll show the flex. I know you've seen a few other videos, but I've not really tried it. For me, it feels a little bit less flexy than the Apex 37, and you can really feel the concave in it. And my foot stands, you feel it's a lot better than the 37s. Um, we're going to compare it to the Beast now, the Freeride 38, the um, Rocker version. So, uh, the Apex 40 you can see is nearly a wheel, uh, nearly a wheel size bigger than the Beast. The Beast is nearly a wheel size bigger than the Apex 37. Yeah, you can see the bases. stance. You can see and the stance is much higher. You see down here, the 37. And the 40 are a lot higher than the beast. That's probably because it's dropped through and it's got a rocker concave on it. But even just looking at it from the top, you can see the difference between the concaves of the Apex 40 and the Apex 37. Also, a few other things that came with the board was I got six original stickers, a lot more than I expected, and a few smaller original stickers. I think three smaller original stickers. And it came with a Western Sessions DVD. Oh, of course. And it came with a Western Sessions DVD. I didn't come with a. It didn't come with a kit because it's a deck, and not complete. I guess we'll take it out for a first ride. Ride. We're at the top of my street on the hill. I've been doing some slides and some flatland. At the beginning, it was pretty hard to get used to. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. It felt really strange compared to the 37. Three inches make a lot of difference. And these kicks, wow, they were they were overpowered at the beginning. Very overpowered. The length I got used to when I started going down hills 
it was a bit awkward doing slides because my foot placement is just a few centimeters off compared to the apex but I found that I was hugging the, the tub, the corner of the tub so it was locking my feet in really nicely and then when doing toe slides it was much more, it was much more, it was much better than the apex 37 because I wouldn't slip off on that um, backwards position, it would lock my feet in. Um, I reckon it's a really good board for, I guess, not beginners because it's so complex. It's got strange kicks, it's got a strange complex, it's got a strange, concave. strange concave <laughs> and tub. But I've been riding for about a year and a bit and um, I guess the Apex 37 was, it wasn't really pushing me to that level that I wanted to be at on free riding. It sounds a bit, sounds a bit corny, but it's true. <laughs> And yeah, that just about does it for the Apex 40 video. There it is. <laughs>